Hey there, today we're gonna to talk about an organ in your body known as the heart. The heart is a very important organ. And instead of just going through all these different facts about the heart, I created a heart relay race in another part of the museum that we're gonna go explore in a moment. But there are a few things I want you to understand before we go and do that. First of all, an organ is a series of specialized tissues that come together and those specialized tissues create the organ and the organ itself does something very, very special for the body. In this case, your heart is responsible for pumping your blood and circulating it throughout your body. It's also part of the body system known as the circulatory system, which includes the veins, the arteries, the lungs, all those good things. Now, your heart is the strongest muscle in your body. It is constantly at work. A good heart beats 60 times in a minute. Okay, and it never ever stops beating 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for your entire life, your heart is beating. So it's a very strong muscle. And like I said, it's the strongest muscle in your body. Now the only other thing I'm gonna say about the heart is that you can open the heart model up that I have and you can see that inside there's these different chambers. The top chambers are called the atriums. They have the right atrium and the left atrium. And the bottom chambers are called the ventricles. You have the right ventricle and the left ventricle. These are very important because they take different types of red blood cells, deoxygenated and oxygenated, and take them to the proper parts of the body. Before you make the track, you're gonna wanna go to our website, childrensmuseumhouston.org, go to our activities page, find the heart relay race activity, and print out all the printouts. This includes the layout for the track. It'll show you how to make the track. And you're also gonna to wanna to print out the heart cards, the lung cards, and the muscle card, so that you can have everything ready to go when you start to make your track. Remember, there's going to be 10 printouts that you're gonna print out. Now, after you have everything printed out, you're gonna to wanna to collect some duct tape and some masking tape. The duct tape is really good to make the track. The masking tape is good to hold down the different cards, and you wanna get some scissors to cut your tape. We pre-made a track for you, and this is what it's supposed to look like in case you have trouble reading the layout. Once you get your track made, you're gonna to wanna to get some red balloons and some blue balloons, as many as you want, really. The red balloons represent oxygenated red blood cells and the blue balloons represent deoxygenated red blood cells. You're gonna start your track race with one oxygenated red blood cell. So you're gonna start at the left ventricle, which is a chamber of the heart that takes blood out of the heart through the aorta into the body. From the left ventricle, it goes into the aorta and the aorta sends this newly oxygenated blood out into the body and to the muscles. You have hundreds of different muscles in your body. The aorta actually takes your oxygenated blood out and sends it into different veins and arteries to take to different muscles. Your muscles need the oxygenated blood in order to function and move. But once you have the oxygenated blood into the muscles, they will also transfer carbon dioxide into that red blood cell, so your red blood cell becomes deoxygenated. These blue balloons represent the deoxygenated blood cells. What I'm gonna do right now is bend down, trade out a blue cell for the red cell, put the red cell in here, and then we're ready to go to the next part. The right atrium takes the deoxygenated blood in. Atrium is a room that's indoors, so it makes sense that they call this the atrium. It takes things in and then transfers it to the right ventricle. The right ventricle then takes the deoxygenated blood into the pulmonary artery, which then goes to the lungs. This is the pulmonary artery that's taking deoxygenated blood. Look at the color, it's blue, taking deoxygenated blood into the lungs. These are the lungs. They are taking oxygen from outside your body as you breathe in, 
And you can see all those uh, different branching things. Those are brachia. They, they hold that oxygen in. And that's what's gonna turn your deoxygenated blood cell into an oxygenated blood cell. Now we're at the red balloons again, which is the oxygenated blood. We're gonna bend down, grab one red balloon, as you can see, and we're gonna bend back up. We are now at the pulmonary vein, which is red because the blood is oxygenated. And this pulmonary vein is going to take the oxygenated blood to the left atrium. The left atrium takes in the oxygenated blood and then transfers it to the left ventricle. And we have completed the cycle. Now we're back at the left ventricle. The cycle might be complete, but it never stops. Remember, your heart is a muscle and it's the only muscle that never, ever, ever stops working. I'm gonna go ahead and run the track a few times for y'all. So you can see me exchanging red oxygenated blood for blue deoxygenated blood. I'm gonna do it five times because I have five different balloons of each color. You don't have to do it only five times. You can do it more than five times if you want. Just depends on how many balloons you have. Or you can just, between every time you do it, you can just put the red balloons and the blue balloons back where they belong and keep on doing it. I, in fact, encourage you to do it many, many times because it'll get you a good workout. It'll get your heart moving and make your heart stronger. Let's go ahead and do this. This is where I change my balloons out. I put my red oxygenated balloon inside and I change it for a blue deoxygenated balloon. Now here, I change my blue deoxygenated balloon for a red oxygenated balloon and we continue to go. Now I'm just gonna go through it so you can see me doing it fast. So when you do this relay race, you're gonna to wanna to do it a few times by yourself and time yourself. Now, here's the thing. You don't wanna go too fast. You don't wanna to go too slow. Uh, if you go too fast, it means you have high blood pressure, which is dangerous for you. If you go too slow, you have low blood pressure, which is also dangerous for you. So to do it correctly, you wanna do it in about 60 seconds, your entire relay race. Now that might mean you have to elongate the race that I made here on the floor. You might have to make yours bigger so you can do it in 60 seconds or just move a little slower. Now I know after a while going that slow will become a little boring. So then you can start to go faster, just to get yourself a workout to get your heart moving, to get your heart pumping, which is really good for you to have your heart muscle get exercised. So you can start going faster then and you can do it maybe 10 times, see how fast you do it, and then do it another 10 times and see if you can beat your uh, previous time. It's a really fun exercise to do. Also, if you have a couple of chairs by the um, arteries, and the veins, you can go ahead and put them there so it's harder for you to squeeze through that area of the path. That'll show you a dangerous thing about the heart, which is called a blockage. And we don't want those blockages because those also lead to heart attacks. So you can understand why sometimes it's hard for your blood to move through your veins and your arteries. So those are all fun things you can do. If you have friends that want to join you, you can also have a competition where you maybe do it 10, 20 times, test your time out, have your friend do it 10, 10, 20 times, see if they do it faster than you and you guys can compete that way. Okay, let's get moving. A lot of times when I do these different organ activities, I'll probably give you some exercise to do as well to show you how your organs are constantly working. Like your lungs are working with your heart, your heart's working with your lungs, everything like that, your muscles, all that good stuff. So I'll tie it into that. So again, get out there, make your heart relay track, enjoy running around it, get your parents involved, get your friends involved and have a good time. Until I see you again, this is Jason Hammond, hoping you're having a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.